Hello, my loves. Welcome back. Today, it's a good old fashioned foundation review. And this is a high end luxury product that we're gonna be testing out. We're gonna see if this is worth the dough. I need to look up and see how much this retails for. So this is the YSL All Hours Foundation. They just dropped this and they sent it to me and I am very excited to try it out. 56 buckaroos, $60 on their website, 56 on Sephora, interesting. So they had, YSL recently had a kind of viral product which was the Bare Look Tint Skin. I feel like I tried that at one point and I don't remember loving it, but I'm more of a full like coverage foundation girl as it is. So that could be why. Anyway, let's talk about what this foundation is gonna do. It's supposed to be a breathable liquid foundation that delivers up to 24 hours of full coverage. 24 hours, we may need to do a wear test next time we put this on. With a weightless feel, a luminous matte finish that feels like an oxymoron. Lumin How can you be luminous and matte? I hope they can achieve that because that's exact, I love a glow, but I never want to look greasy. So if it can be like, that's why I feel like that's like a velvet finish. Like luminous matte feels like velvet, you know? I love like a velvet finish foundation. Anyway, it's also SPF 30. Let's freaking try it. Okay, they sent over two shades. I'm hoping we have MN4 and LN8. Sounds very different, but we're gonna, let's swatch them both and jump right in. First of all, do we wanna talk about the packaging? Is this light uh, um, too aggressive? Like, is it bothering you guys? Yeah, I think that's a little less um, offensive to you. Okay, okay, so let's look at the packaging. It's gorgeous, it is glass. She's heavy. I don't know, $56, but I do feel like that's what like, I wonder what the Giorgio Armani costs because I feel like that's a similar price point. So it's not like it's $100. So let's try it, let's just open it up. Oh, we pull it off. It's a pump bottle. We love a good pump bottle, let's shake her. It feels like, do you hear that? Like it doesn't feel that thick, so I'm excited. Let's just do like one pump a -roo. Oh, ooh, that looks like a great shade. It's light, LN8, try this one right next to it. Light is my natural shade, but we always wanna be a little darker, but then it becomes its own issue. Okay, actually, I think the combo of those is gonna be really good. I feel like it's gonna be exactly where I wanna be, so I'm gonna do both. Basically did a pump of each, maybe do a little bit more. I'm trying to decide if I wanna prime my face today, I feel like I kind of just want to let this foundation do its thing and not mess too much with the formula. Primers can act weird with foundations, so I just want to, let's just go, let's bare face it. So we're going to mix that together. Consistency feels like, we're just going, we're going for it. That feels like an absolute perfect shade match. I'm like, did I shade match myself or did they figure that out? I'm not really sure. It smells nice, like smells like skincare. So I don't know if that means they like added a fragrance or what, but I like it. I don't love when they add fragrances, but it doesn't smell added is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I think we're just gonna use like a good old flat kabuki. It's pretty dense. This is from Sigma. I'll pick up the rest that's on my hand and we're just going, let's zoom in more. All right, we're just gonna start pressing this into the skin. First immediate impression is wow. I don't know how it's doing that, but it is giving me a luminous matte finish. I am a believer. Let's just keep going. I am really, really impressed with this. I think I need a teeny bit more. I actually don't know if I do. I just feel like I did not get my nose at all. So I do, I need a touch more. I'm not even gonna do half a pump, but we're gonna do both just to make sure the color stays the same. I just didn't get my nose and around my nose. And like normally I'll get the majority of my coverage with my concealer anyway, but I am shocked, shocked at how that looks. And like it's blending in and, all, and melting into the skin so easily that I feel like it's really hard to explain. It's like becoming, it feels skin-like, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Like it feels like I have nothing on. It feels like I wouldn't have to set this. Let me back you up a little. So you can kind of see like my full face from far away. Look how even that skin tone is and the luminosity that I have while still being matte. 
I was not sure how they were gonna do that, but I feel like they really did. Okay, so I think I'm going to finish off my makeup, come back and give you guys my final review. But here is my skin. I'm shook by this. I'm not sure I've ever used a foundation like this. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, friends, I figure I'll bring you back in. We just did the rest of the face and I'm popping on mascara on the other eye. And I wanted to give you my final thoughts while we do mascara. So first of all, my skin looks unbelievable. The way this foundation makes it look like I'm not wearing foundation, I'm not sure I've ever used a foundation like this and I'm comparing it to my favorite foundation. So my favorites are Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and House Labs at the moment. Luminous Silk is a little bit lighter and it's more luminous, so you need more powder. The crazy thing about this foundation is I put the teeniest bit of powder right under my eyes and like maybe like here, 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 teeny bit on my T-zone. Like I'm not, I didn't bake, I didn't like dip in. I did like the tip of my puff and just dabbed it on my face and I don't have to set the rest of my face. I'm shocked. Um, it played so well with all of my other products. Like I did, I'll tell you exactly what I used on top. So on top, I did my Charlotte Tilbury concealer. We love her. Um, I just wanted like a little bit more of a full coverage, like matte finish because that's kind of what the foundation was. Normally I use Kosas, but I kind of switch between these two. I actually did my Say Sun Melt, which I told you guys I have like not been that in love with, but I actually put it on with my finger. Like I just, and then applied it like um, contour and then I blended it in with just like a little stippling brush with my e.l.f. cream blush, this one, the putty blush, and that was it. I blended the concealer out with a concealer brush, the little Real Techniques doe foot. So concealer, blended the rest out with a sibling brush. I am just shook at how incredible this makes my skin look, but also the shade match. Like look how natural, let me back you up even more. Cause like if you were just seeing me on the street, oh, I hope these didn't leave a little, I might've left a, a mark in my hair. Actually, I think we're okay. If you're just seeing me on the street, like you think this is my face and clearly this is not my face. I cannot, I just hope it's coming across on camera and I hope you're understanding why I'm so shocked by this. I know I've only used this one time, so I hate just saying like, this is the best foundation I've ever used. Cause I feel like the first time I use foundations, I tend to feel that way. But what I can say confidently is I've never used a foundation that has done this to my skin in a way where I still look glowy, but I am like, it is so skin-like and I have no powder on top, which is so amazing, especially if you have aging or mature skin because powder can be really tricky when you have fine lines. So the less powder that you can use, the better. And like I said, I barely had to use any powder. I could have probably gone on with more powder just for longevity and to like really set everything. But the fact that I didn't feel like I need to, needed to is so incredible. Okay, I just adjusted my light just cause I, I didn't wanna be like washed out. I want you to really be able to see my skin up close and personal. You guys saw the before, you saw all the imperfections. It's really shocking. So I looked up the Giorgio Armani foundation and that bad boy is $69. So this one's actually less expensive and uh, I don't know, we'll see how she wears, but I think this is better. I think this is better than House. I think this is better than Giorgio Armani. So that is the review. It's a good one. I'm gonna keep using this and I'll keep you guys updated. We'll keep doing tutorials with this on my channel because I am really shocked at what this just did to my skin. I also wanna play with, you know, like adding in a primer, maybe like an illuminating product to get like a little bit more of a dewy finish if you guys like that more. But I honestly can't believe how good this looks and how this looks like my skin. I could probably use a little extra bronzer on right now because I'm just, I'm, I'm a little pale with this dark ass hair and this light ass foundation, but this is, this is me. <laughs> okay, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review. Let me know if you did. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you've tried this out or let me know if you're going to, and I'll link it for you if you want to try it along with everything else that I'm wearing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>